So when we say content as a platform, uh, we starts with the principle of property rights. And in the virtual world or the digital world, until blockchain, that wasn't really possible. Because when we think of our physical ownership of things, they are platforms today. So for instance, we think of the ownership of cars as a platform. If you own a car, you can hire a driver, you can have someone give you leather seats, uh, you can have you know people give you places to park your car, uh, there could be Uber, there could be Lyft. Think of all the businesses that have been created today just because millions of people own cars. So the ownership of cars is a platform and it's permissionless, right? I mean, I can buy a car from anyone in the world. I don't need to go to an official dealer only. I can buy a secondhand car from my friend, for instance, because it's his car. He has those rights to do that. And they can decorate it and decorate baby seats. Like baby seats is my favorite example because, you know, back when the baby seat was invented in the 30s, uh, actually, most all the car companies back then were like, which, you know, like, we're like, why do you need a baby seat? Like, you don't need that, right? But someone said, well, I want to drive my family safely in a car. And they created and invented that. And then, of course, baby seats are now so important. It became a major industry and also somewhat contributed to the need for seat belts and all that kind of stuff, right? New innovations happened, right? That's what we mean in terms of a platform. Ownership of cars is a platform. Ownership of your house is a platform. Ownership of watches is a platform. Ownership of Pokemon cards is a platform, right? People build businesses on top of things we own. But in the digital world, up until blockchain, you couldn't do that before because you never own the asset. For instance, you know, um, when you think about skins in Fortnite, right, which is, you know, the, the decorative items that you can sort of buy, you need permission from Epic to be able to do anything. It's not yours. So it's not a platform. It is just content. But in Web3, what happens is, is that content becomes an asset, right? So the crypto kitty, which is a you know funny cat, um, actually is an asset, which means it can now become a platform like owning a car or owning a house. If you own a board ape, it is content, but it is now also an asset. And because I own a board ape, someone will give me an airdrop, whether this is ape coin, whether this is something else, right? Or they'll make a game for me because they want me as a customer. So that's what it means uh, when I say as a platform. And of course, the difference, of course, in Web3 is that we now have the in, uh, sort of opportunity to sort of aggregate as a network these these, these um, platform effects. Because if you own a board ape and I own a board ape, or you own a Mochaverse and I own a Mochaverse, if one of the Mochaverse products becomes successful, we all benefit. Right? So again, we share in the network effect. I think that's that's what we meant. Uh, and so the, the element, of course, only is possible if we have um, sort of uh, property rights. And I think you know we can now with Mocha ID, we're thinking one step further, which is actually you have content as a platform, but actually we as individuals are platforms as well. And then that's actually the social element, which is again a sort of uh, a version of this, because when you think about our activity in social networks, right? Uh, actually, we are platforms, you know, whether you have a million followers or 100,000 followers or 10 followers on Instagram, for instance, actually, you're a platform. Even in your social circle, just think about in the course of a week with your friends, whether it's you or your mom or your parents or your friends, how many times did they recommend a restaurant? How many times did they recommend a movie that you would watch? How many times did they make suggestions to you where they influenced to make a decision? Not because they want to make money from it, just because they were sharing that they thought were good ideas. So in a way, we're all platforms of our own, right? Uh, and I think this to me is the real power of basically what we mean by sort of this decentralized ownership, because now we all become owners of our own platforms as opposed to having to rent the spaces of companies like Meta slash Facebook or Google or, or, or sort of, you know, um, Apple and so on, and then have to pay a very extractive fee which, by the way, they can always take away from us, right? I think that's, you know, that again is, is why, why we love Web3 so much.